This place is amazing. It's like an explosion in your mouth. Not the bar and grill I expected. I actually felt like I was in a hospital cafeteria. I ordered steak. Mm -hmm. Mistake. I'm pretty certain there's a microwave in the kitchen. Quality of food is exceptional. News anchor Julia Yarbo loves to make appearances at her chic and trendy eatery. On a slow news day, you just might find her in a booth by the window enjoying the famous prickly pear margaritas. And the real deal Southwestern inspired cuisine in Fort Lauderdale is called Canyon Cafe. I would have to say that Canyon is um, unique Southwestern cuisine based on like Native American, Old West uh, food. A lot of chilies, corn, tortillas. Well, our signature drink is the prickly pear margarita. Um, we infuse 100% um, blue agave tequila for 72 hours with the fresh fruit, the prickly pears. And we make our own fresh sour mix. When we're really busy, that's all you see on the bar. It's just pink drinks up and down and all throughout the dining room. The bar being right by the front door, people come in to dine and they're like, oh my gosh, you're already busy, but then the tables slowly start to fill up. Oh, everybody wants to sit by the windows <laughs> first. And of course, everybody wants a booth. Yeah, it's nice. It's, you know, you get people walking by. Good place to meet people, fun place, and good margaritas. So you say the flavors are exactly what you're looking for. Tell yeah, us why. I'm, again, I'm a big person in, in flavors and being able to recognize something, or better yet, not recognizing what it is and trying to figure out what the mix of flavors is. I always feel like all the ingredients are very fresh. The menu changes regularly, mm -hmm. and items that are hard to find, bison, ostrich, um, a lot of southwestern mixes that we don't use here typically in South Florida cuisine, so I enjoy that. I have this and, image uh, of ostriches running through the southwest. <laughs> <laughs> when does that happen? I know, it's crazy, you, but you think, you know, where, where do you get ostrich? It's, it's different. I actually, um, I hadn't been to Canyon in years, and I remember the, uh, the prickly pear margaritas, and I had one, and it was like, eh, a little foo-foo for me. But then I looked at the wine list and they had cake bread Cabernet Sauvignon 2005. I was done for the night. So I ordered the wine before I ordered my food, which led me down the path to this filet. The filet, do you, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was so unique. Poblano pesto goat cheese. Thank That's you right. very much. It's hard to remember all these things and we have so many different restaurants, but I was really impressed with that. And the chef came out and said hello. And, Chris, uh, he's Which very I nice. like. I like when a chef, if you, you know, you're a chef and you know, you're very I don't famous. Do that. <laughs> you come to the table. It means so much to the customers when the chef walks out and comes over. It makes you feel like, you, you know, oh, I knows who I am, you know. What did you have? Um, I had a bouillabaisse. Uh, it was a special of the day. Mm -hmm. And um, it was very, uh, very spicy. I, uh, I got to the door and there was a note on the door that said no shorts. And I was wearing shorts. Mm -hmm. Um, He's a real class act. Well, <laughs> it's, it's a restaurant in a, a strip mall at the beach, you know? Um, I couldn't no. believe it. Well, that's exactly I what it is. Next to, that that that's it's next to a movie mall. theater, sir. <laughs> it's not yes, a strip mall. No, it's well, not a strip mall. And, 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 I'm and, in a strip mall. And you're, and you're sitting there, and, and, and the um, uh, cars are just going right by, just as feet from your, from your face. Um, and it's just, it just seemed like a... So you believe that you should be able to wear shorts in that type of setting? Indeed, I do. I'm embarrassed by it. Um, <laughs> did you try going in with the shorts? I, well, of course I did. And they let you in? And they, they ignored me about it. You know, they just kind of looked the other way. <laughs> which is us in the back table in the corner. That was, That's uh, a good thing. Uh, no, they were, no, they were very nice about that. They didn't... Uh, they That's what adds to the chic classiness of it. You know that somebody's not going to come strolling in in flip-flops and a t-shirt, and you're yeah, like, why are you? you? Yeah, it does, <laughs> actually. Yeah, not, uh, you know, no one was in flip-flops okay, if it's or David Beckham, he but can no. come in in flip-flops <laughs> and a t-shirt. That's good. Let's move on. Jose? <laughs> it's another enduring place because it's good, and I had a wasabi steak for appetizer, and it was great. That's new. I had an old, uh, an old style burrito after this. Tenderling tip burrito you had. Yes, which was quite, it was good, but it's my fault. I shouldn't have gone for a burrito. I mean, a burrito is a burrito. I should have gone for something, you know, with the blue tamale or whatever they, they Did you had. try those corn dusted uh, That's o oysters? Not, oh, no, oh yeah, man. I saw those come by. What do you like to eat when you go there? I always, well, I enjoy the bread, for starters. You know, that's always a nice fill-up to and start with. And a Caesar with. salad, apparently, you <laughs> like. <laughs> but the, um, I, I like the, uh, the tapas. It's very fresh. I could taste the tomato. I could taste the cilantro. I could taste a little bit of onion. You know, individual flavors that didn't overpower one another, but blended nicely to give me a good kick. I had panko-crusted shrimp 
over rice. Right. Very good mix of flavors, but light and Doesn't filling. Doesn't seem like the chef uses too much like cream and no. butter and. And his I, I didn't taste a lot of salt. That's one of the things that a lot of restaurants across the board. I taste. You know, somebody said, "Oh, the flavors were really with a good kick," and I'm like, "All I taste is salt." So it's nice when you have a meal where you can go, "Ooh, that that the panko crusted." And I was like, "What's panko? Oh yeah, bread bread crumbs." Japanese bread crumbs. But you can taste the individual flavors of those bread crumbs mm -hmm. on the shrimp, which is just you amazing. You must have to some me. palate on you. <laughs> You really said that earlier when she walked by. <laughs> yeah. what watch it, it, watch it. You mentioned the plates there. What is it about the uh, the size of their 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 serving plates? I mean, um, they it's brought nice, out. Sir. Oh, it I takes like a big plate. I yeah. was huge. I could have taken a sponge bath in the thing that they brought out, <laughs> and I had the comfort. bread pudding, and um, oh. oh, it was the best I've ever had in my life. But the bowl, I'm telling you, was. Was That's that just a big. style. Is that, is that a it's trendy just a thing? Yeah, it's a style But it took thing. up the whole uh, the whole table. I don't know why you worry about the plate. He calls me, he goes, the plates are big. Uh, <laughs> what's wrong with you? What's just, wrong with them? It's just something that I noticed. It was almost cumbersome in a way. Uh, they, yeah, they, and they, they, they weren't were paper, so were they? No they, no, they were not. Now, when I went, it was packed. Do you guys mind the no reservation yes, system? Yes, they don't reserve. I, I mean, like, I, I, I like called that. in advance knowing there is, what, 20 tables or 15 tables, and they just won't do it. They should do it. I don't want to wait. I mean, I sat at the bar and I had my four prickly margaritas, of course, <laughs> you know, which is part of, you know, the atmosphere. But yeah, I take a reservation like everybody else. Julia, Kenyon was your pick. Give me a little summary. You can either get a full dinner, order several different appetizers, and I, th I think you, you top it off with your prickly pear and, and you feel like you're on vacation, but you're right here in town. Paul, run. If you want to go and be seen and see somebody and, and be part of the Fort Lauderdale single crowd, it's a great restaurant for you. It was very enjoyable. Uh, Fort, Fort Lauderdale Institution, I'm glad you're still there. Thank you for sending me back there because I hadn't been forever and it was a great experience. For an elegant southwestern meal, you can mosey on over to Canyon Cafe. It's located at 1818 East Sunrise Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale, open nightly for dinner. Reservations are not accepted and the average tab for dinner without drinks is about $45.